Carl, what do you take away from this game? Um, I mean, obviously we started probably one of the, I mean, we probably had one of the worst starts that we've ever had to a football game. And, you know, when you turn the ball over that many times, um, you know, it's hard to win games. But I thought we, you know, we fought really hard in the second half and, um, you know, gave our team a chance. And, you know, I mean, LSU played a great tough game. Um, give them credit. Um, but obviously it's not the result we wanted. And uh, I think if we obviously play a, a clean first half and, you know, we're looking at a different result. Next week's game obviously was going to be extremely challenging already. Does this magnify the challenge for you guys? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, Alabama's a great team. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we're going to treat it like any other game. I think this is, you know, might be somewhat of a wake-up call or it could be a good thing to happen. I mean, right before we're playing them just to make sure uh, that, you know, we're completely locked in and making sure that we're doing all the little things right. Cassidy? Yeah, Kyle, uh, you mentioned some of the turnovers. What were th what were they doing? Was it, do you think it was decisions you were making? Was it something they were showing that they had not shown before? You know, I think you matched your turnover tonight that you had thrown all season. So what, what was going on there? Uh, yeah, I mean, just a couple of bad decisions really on my part. Uh, I mean, I take full responsibility for everything. Um, so, I mean, I just got to play cleaner. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, Thomas? Kyle, can you take us through kind of the post-game locker room scene? What's the feeling like in there? Who kind of steps up and says stuff to you guys? I mean, it was obviously um, quiet and, you know, mellow and whatnot. And, you know, coach just told us, um, you know, the things that are pretty obvious to everybody. I mean, you can't win games turning the ball over like that. Um, and basically that, that, I mean, we still have a chance to, you know, win an SEC championship, um, which I, I mean, which I think that we have a great chance to do if we play clean football. Okay. Uh, Mark Long. Kyle, no one's going to give you guys a chance in that game next week. You're going to be huge underdogs, uh, and and maybe rightfully so, given the way you've played lately with the defensive lapses and the offensive lows. What gives you any hope that you guys can can play with Alabama? Well, I think you know we have had some um, really high highs this season and some really low lows, and a lot of it is just little things and you know, I think we can play with anybody in the country if, if we're playing at our best. I mean we got you know some of the most talented people in America on this Florida Gator football team. Um, so if we you know just put together a great game plan and execute it then we can play with anybody. Uh, Nick Bellatore. Oh you passed um you passed Danny Werfel today um, for the single season touchdown record. Just what does that mean to you? Um, obviously, you have the loss, but uh, if you have a second just to think about breaking that record. Um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, he actually, I actually uh, got the chance to talk to him after the game. He FaceTimed me, which was pretty cool. Um, and just, you know, showing his support for me and um, this and what we did this season. So uh, that was pretty cool um, from him. And I mean, it's really just, like I've always said, just shows you know how explosive this offense can be. And it kind of goes back to the previous question. I mean, if we play at a, at a high level that I know we can, then I know that we can play with anybody in America. How did that conversation go? Um, and what was it like just to see Danny on the other end of a phone? Uh, it was pretty uh, unreal. I mean, you hear about this guy and see him all over, just in you know Gator Nation in general, 
and you know get to talk to him is really special and you know really cool that you know he's he has my back and you know shows the support for me um so that was uh that was unbelievable that was cool and you know he was basically just you know telling me about how he lost his last game of the season um regular season when he was playing and they went back and they beat Alabama the following week so you know it's just one foot in front of the other you know that's what we plan on doing next week uh, how much did you miss Kyle Pitts um I mean yeah Kyle is a, a great offensive weapon for us but I think that you know we had I don't know what the stats are but you know we had a ton of yards of offense and you know we have so many weapons like other than Kyle um, that we we should be able to score on anybody and, and like I said we have so many yards but the thing is that we just weren't getting touchdowns and you know that's um, you know it's a key factor when you want to win football games is scoring in the red zone. Um, you know Evan missed that field goal I'm sure he was upset afterwards but should it have come down to, to that? I mean, absolutely not. You, you can't point fingers at any one person because it definitely shouldn't have even been in that situation. Um, I mean, if I just, you know, I take a lot of responsibility myself if I play a clean first half and, and I feel like I gave them just 10 points straight up. I mean, so, I mean, it's a tough loss. It's not the way you want to, you know, go out as your, your last home game in the swamp. But at the same time, you know, uh, you know, our goal at the beginning of the season was to get to the SEC championship, and we still have a chance to, you know, win the SEC. And you know, that's going to be our full focus going forward. Thank you, Kyle.